Hey everybody, this is a new assembled live stream, and I'm joined by Max and Samuel and Milan. Milan, it's so good to see you both again. I think we've met once and we've seen something special here in front of you. So please tell us everything about those <laughs> new Lego Technic sets. Everything. Everything. All right, let's go. Uh, this is the US Woo! truck. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Seen? It's very long. And I'm, when I'm yeah. going, it goes left on the screen. But still, <laughs> great. <laughs> Um, great model is made by uh, Marcus Kosman, not myself, but uh, Marcus, well-known Marcus. Um, there is a full full function package in it. It's pneumatic, so everything you can operate magic in here. So here you go. Um, then you can lower the bed, and then you can lift the mass to pick up cars. It's a great thing. And then you have a mass that you can operate on the other side. I'm just gonna pump a few time. And then, whoo! All right, that's lifted. Magic. And then that fully extended as well. Uh, this one is a bit old one, but there you go. No, it, you're, uh, you're the retracting. There you are. All right. Yeah. It's a very big model, so I will lower that a little bit. There you go. So you have like two strings to operate, and then to you can rewind it. So it's this model is packed with with function. So you can have like hours of play time with it. Um, you can lift and lower the third axle in here. So you see this one is going up now, and this one is going down. Oh, there. there you go. So we have also hot triggers uh, that comes from the two side here and two at the back. So you could, oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Yeah, it's a very heavy one though. It's a toy. It's a toy, yes. It's a toy, very heavy like a truck for sure. <laughs> it's a good exercise then. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, so so this I, will, one I, will, I will ask you if you could join us, if you could show us every function again in minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm getting a good exercise on this one because I didn't know the set uh, because Marcus did it. So. But so yeah, we have like a lot of function packed on the back, but we also have like, um, you can open the hood and showcase the inline six engine with moving piston. You can also steer the wheels left and right, and you can open the door. So there you are, fully open. Um, this this looks really great, um, but this is not a license, right? This is no. this is fiction. This is uh, well, this is not fiction. I mean, these vehicles do exist um, of course. <laughs> in real life, but we created uh, our own on this one, uh, and we had so much fun, really, um, trying out like new design. But this iconic U.S. Uh, <laughs> long nose truck, uh, I think, was a um, what is well, had like a a lot of success within the within the design team so i think we we picked the right one and um, i think the playability on this one is at its maximum really for this kind of set um marcus couldn't pack any more function in it but i think there is more of the four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve function <laughs> in total and i'm not counting the doors 13, 15, and then the bonnet which is like a 16 function in total, um, and that's why we're doing like such a such such amazing sets. It's because to to have like a lot of playability around a, a Technic model. So yeah, that's the US tow truck, and release date August this year. So so wait. Max Max, this is America, right? So um, your question, please, as a car fan. Yeah, um, so I think the color, uh, the color scheme is very interesting. So um, 
Had you other like prototypes in other colors, or was it clear that you want to do it in blue and orange? We want this model to be different shade uh, within the, the whole portfolio of models. So we had a lot of tryout using a new color scheme, and 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 for sure we had like um, other ideas. Um, but this one stand out um, when we look at the whole assortment of Lego Technic. This one just like pops right right into your face because it's so different. Um, and so we wanted that to be different so people can can visually visualize it a bit better. Um, and I'd say like, I want the, the gray truck and then like, well, <laughs> you have yeah. another gray truck here. So it's it's like this color scheme was standing out of the crowd. So that's why we choose this one. Yeah, you always need to find the, the balance within the assortment plus as well, look into what is uh, in the market from the previous year. So, you know, if, if the kid asks for a an orange truck, you shouldn't be confused when you go to the shop and you know, purchase the, the Christmas gift, the wrong one. <laughs> you shouldn't think the wrong one, basically. <laughs> That's a yeah. one. I didn't want this. And the kid is crying <laughs> like the whole Christmas time. Yeah. Like, you don't want that. Uh, are there any new elements? Um, there is a flip-flop beams um, at the back here. Um, so we use the 15 module one uh, on the, the RC buggy. Um, and this one is uh, 11, right? Yes, it's an 11. Uh, flip flop beam. <laughs> Otherwise, it has like several elements in new colors, but no other new elements. No other new elements. New design, point. I would say. Yeah. What is the price tag here? Uh, it differs from country to country. So there's another set in front of you, and this is brand new too. And this is yours. Uh, yes, I designed this one, and it's the it's the Mercedes Zetros uh, 4129 Mercedes uh, 4 <laughs> trial truck. So the first I'm time ever, we're introducing uh, a trial truck, which is something that like the, the fan community, at least in, in my part of Europe, is totally crazy about, uh, just to race truck over obstacles and, and uh, just to show how well they can perform uh, driving over, over stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm really sorry I, I interrupted you. Uh, please give us the full name again. Uh, it's the 4x4 Mercedes Zetros uh, trial truck, 42129. This is a name, so go ahead, please. Yes, and you can see it's different color scheme than the American one. Uh, it has fewer wheels. Uh, the cap is uh, predominantly dark gray uh, with uh, a lot of black in the chassis, and the uh, the bed in the back is uh, in the bright green color. Uh, it has as well several manual features, but this one is on the other side of the uh, the play offerings that we have because this one is remote controlled. So uh, besides that, you can open the doors, uh, you can open the bonnets, and here you have some uh, engine details. Uh, you do have an opening latch just above the gearbox on the back of the truck where you can inspect afterwards all the moving gear wheels and uh, some of the motors. And it as well has uh, live uh, axle suspension on both the axles, so all the all the wheels, uh, all the wheels uh, can move up and down. And besides that, it drives. Uh, so let me pick that. Powered up. Yes. And you can see the angle that it's capable of climbing, and this is not the maximum you can do with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> And Max, what do you think? Yeah, that's very impressive. So I, I've never seen a car um, like driving this high, and it's it's <laughs> it just looks great, and I'm very impressed by it. Yes, and the the reason why we can do this is that we have uh, two motors at the bottom over here that are linked to a single drivetrain, so you get a lot of power from these two. Uh, plus, as well, it comes to each of the axles, distributing the power, and each of the wheels has the planetary hub from the 42099 behind it. So it's geared even more down to deliver even more power. And then there's one motor for steering and one motor for something that we've never seen before. Uh, you just hear the, uh, heard a clicking sound, and that's the central and rear differential lock. So these two differentials do lock at the same time to enable you to climb even over 
uh, higher obstacles or not to lose grip in the terrain. This looks and of really course, impressive. What is the size? Do we have the, the um, author's car centimeter? Uh, I don't remember specifically, but I think it's something around 48 centimeters, yeah. 48 centimeters in length. Yes. So it fits to your, to your shelf. So it, it really looks good. So um, when it comes to colors, we have lime green or no, it's, it's dark green, right? It's, it's bright green. It's the, bright it's the racing green, green from okay. the uh, Le Mans race or the 24 hour race car from 2015. And yeah, that's, that's uh, something that uh, we wanted to bring back. Uh, as well, I forgot to mention that the set comes with four uh, flags, so you can build as well the obstacle track and the gates uh, for your trial track uh, course that you can build in your room. And we as well do have some new exciting things. Uh, we are introducing a new tractor tire, which has 81 millimeter diameter. We do have a small uh, three by seven panel, this is not a new element, but it's a new color for this model. Uh, we do have uh, the toggle joint in dark gray. We do have the panel extension, the three by two in dark gray. As you can see, we have a, uh, where it is, over here, new Mercedes star with a uh, new decoration. Uh, we do have a uh, dark gray lightsaber plate. And uh, we do as well have, as together with the tow truck, we have the 11 module flip-flop beam. So it has holes in two directions which enable you to build way more stable uh, stable structures that you can easily lock. And as you mentioned and noticed, we are bringing back the uh, 37, the, the bright green color. And the part that I'm most excited about, and I think is the coolest one, is this universal joint, uh, which has free movement on the axle. And this is the thing that is needed when you have life axles traveling up and down just to compensate for the movement of the axle becoming shorter or longer. So this can transfer a lot of a lot of torque through this. And whoever builds trial truck or road vehicles crawlers will be definitely very happy about this piece. What is your favorite detail of each car, Samuel and Milan? Huh. Okay. My favorite detail on the Zetras. And I think I'm laughing about it since day one. It's the little duck. <laughs> it put in there. Ooh. I think it's a nice touch. <laughs> because, um, yeah. well, you know, we are. <laughs> That's I great. Think I think it's a funny detail. And um, and I know how hard it was <laughs> to get this. <laughs> so I think, for, I think for the effort, I would choose the duck yeah. um, on, on the Zetros. And... Um, on the on the tow truck, uh, there is no duck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think it's the it's the, the you know the the you say oh, the oh you bonnet? open the bonnet yeah, yeah I think this yeah this is nice it's it's very it's very cool to open and close really I enjoy it that much so I could I could go all the day <laughs> yeah. and then, and I, and I, you see the the six cylinder in line I think in it. It's great. It's like it's like a little gift when you open it. Oh, there's a lot of details in it, and so I like, I like it. So yeah. At Milan. Yeah, for me, um, to be honest, on the tow truck, I just love that it uses pneumatics. No matter what, you know, you put pneumatics in it, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And for the Zetros, it, it, it's a tough one. Uh, if it should be the function, I would say the differential lock, even though it was not that difficult to get it working, it's something really impressive, something that's, uh, you know, uncharted territory for Technic until now. Uh, and I'm really pleased that uh, we managed to pull it off and it works so reliably and so well in real life. And from the details, since the duck is taken, I would probably uh, <laughs> go uh, for the air snorkel over here that you have on the side which took quite a while to get it right and as well, so it looks correct uh, as on the real Zetras. Otherwise, there's as well one like hidden Easter egg on the stickers, but I'm not going to spoil it yet until the model comes out. <laughs> we'll see you around next time. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, take care. See you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.